What are the duties of the on-scene commander in a search and rescue operation? The on-scene commander is responsible for coordinating operations of all search and rescue facilities on scene. He must also receive the search action plan or rescue plan from the SAR mission coordinator, also known as the SMC, or plan the search or rescue operation if no plan is otherwise available. He must modify the rescue action plan or search action as the situation on scene dictates, keeping the SAR mission coordinator or SMC advised. Do it in the consultation with the SMC when practical. The on-scene commander must also coordinate on-scene communications and monitor the performance of other participating facilities. He must ensure that operations are conducted safely, paying particular attention to maintaining safe operations among all facilities, both surface and in air. Make periodic situation reports or SITREPs to the SAR mission coordinator. Periodic situation reports should include but not be limited to weather and sea conditions, the results of search to date, any action taken, and any future plans or recommendations. The on-scene commander must also maintain a detailed record of the operation, which includes on-scene arrival and departure times of search and rescue facilities, other vessels and aircraft engaged in the operation, areas searched, track spacing used, sightings and leads operated, actions taken and results obtained. He must advise the SAR mission coordinator to release facilities no longer required report the number and names of survivors to the SAR mission coordinator, provide the SAR mission coordinator with the names and designation of facilities with survivors aboard, report which survivors are in each facility, and request additional SAR mission coordinator assistance when necessary, for example, in case of medical evacuation of seriously injured survivors. The types of facilities involved in the response and the region of the SAR incident affect the on-scene coordination. Available facilities may include designated search and rescue units, civil aircraft and vessels, military and naval or other facilities with search and rescue capability. In remote regions, search and rescue aircraft may not always be available to participate. In most oceanic regions, ships will normally be available depending of course on the shipping density and shipping traffic in that area. Ships may receive information from land-based search and rescue authorities or by monitoring distress traffic. No advice is required from these authorities can set aside the duties of any master as set in safety of life at sea or solace. Thanks.